The World Health Organization officially declared the outbreak of the coronavirus disease in 2019 a public health emergency of international concern on the 30th of January 2020. The global recession caused by the COVID-19 response is alarming and has made researchers question whether the Sustainable Development Goals, the SDGs, are fit for the post-pandemic age. Now the effect of the pandemic has shown that this crisis is fueled by poverty, hunger, weak health systems, water and sanitation, education and global cooperation. Some have even claimed that certain SDG targets may be counterproductive because they enhance growth rather than development. While the SDGs seem not to have been a dedicated pandemic response plan, it is believed that it is essential not to delink the response to the pandemic from the SDGs. But let's bring in Chairman of the House Committee on SDGs, Ruti Miyagosoyo, to discuss the impact of COVID-19 on sustainable development goals. It's good to have you join us, Honorable Rotimi Agunsoye, on TVC News at 10. Thank you. Good evening. Yes, a very good evening to you. Uh, first of all, uh, yeah. let's um, explore some aspects of enlightenment. What aspect of the SDGs are no longer realistic in the light of the COVID-19 pandemic as um, development rather than growth, as stated in the report? Um, thank you very much. Nobody envisaged uh, COVID-19 at the time uh, it started. But uh, life has to continue. And I will tell you that uh, uh, those goals that can be realized during this COVID-19, the number one uh, is the goal three, which has to do with good health and well-being. This is the time for us, particularly in Nigeria. I don't want to go global now. Uh, this is the time for us to ensure we have state-of-the-art hospitals first in the six regions of the country. Not that uh, we didn't have the resources to do all this before now, but you see, now it is difficult for our people to travel abroad for uh, medicals. So we do not have uh, any, other, any other choice than to ensure we put all our hospitals in order so that we can take care of our people. So I would tell, so, so how how tell how you, can this be achieved when Nigeria is yet to achieve the Abuja Declaration on um, recommendations for the health budget for its commitment to to the health budget? Uh, well, uh, we can always at any time go back to the National Assembly to do what is necessary to allow that to happen because. Uh, if we don't put our hospitals in order now, it will be pretty difficult for our people to survive. Apart from, uh, you know, goal number one is, uh, we say, no poverty. Why two is zero hunger. And uh, what is happening right now, by 2030, I will tell you that over a billion worldwide would, uh, will probably be living in Thanks. Honorable Rotimi Agusoye, Member, House of Representatives, we thank you for your time. We hoped we could continue with the conversation, but we'll have to end it there. Thank you very much for your contribution on TBC News at 10.